Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Steele and welcome to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking about Chantix, which is a medication used for smoking cessation. I'm going to go over uh, whether it's okay for you to take it, um, whether you should use it, if you need its help to help you stop smoking. Before I get into that, I'd also like to uh, talk briefly about the proper technique for self-injecting Botox and how to make Botox at home using a can of pork beans. Um, ooh, ooh, never mind. That idea got the kibosh. Just be talking about Chantix. Sorry. So bottom line, Chantix certainly has its problems. Uh, there's multiple reports indicating it may be associated with serious psychiatric disturbances, up to and including suicide. Also, there's a study showing that it does raise the risk of heart attack. So I'm going to spend the rest of the video kind of going over uh, maybe why a doctor would even think about wanting to prescribe such medication for you. Uh, I'll kind of go over the data that are available and kind of bring a little medical perspective to it so that instead of being just worried about these reports, you can kind of understand them a little better and be able to make a good informed decision for yourself. Before I get too far in this video, I just should mention, I guess, that I'm a board certified internal medicine physician and I'm currently practicing, so I see patients every day in my office and uh, I chose this topic uh, because it comes up quite a bit. This is the same information, generally, that I give to my patients in the office and it is the same information I would give to my mom if she were a smoker. She's not. Yay, good job, mom. Keep it up. I do want to emphasize, as always, that this information is not meant to replace the advice of your doctor. Do not change anything you're doing as far as your prescriptions or your treatment plan uh, from your doctor uh, without talking to them first, just because of something you saw in this video. We don't like it when people change things because of crazy people they saw on the internet. So just some background information. Uh, Chantix is a relatively new medication uh, that was approved for smoking cessation. It's the only medication in its class. Um, and it's uh, probably the most effective medication for smoking cessation. Uh, it works by uh, binding to the nicotine receptor uh, in a partial way. And uh, what this ends up doing is it uh, blocks basically the reward effects of nicotine. So uh, smoking is less satisfying. And it also, because it partially blocks the receptor, it actually reduces the withdrawal side effects. So you get kind of dual action with just one pill, uh, both reducing cravings of cigarette smoking and also reducing withdrawal effects. So I remember uh, back in training in the old days uh, when Chantix first came out and the drug reps uh, would come around and they would say, oh Chantix is so great it has no drug interactions and no side effects, it's basically a completely safe medication. Uh, turns out that's not completely true. Uh, actually the drug interaction part is true. Uh, still, to this day, Chantix has no known significant drug interactions. But the side effects part, uh, yeah, didn't pan out that way. So there are two main areas of concern. Uh, number one is that uh, Chantix can cause neuropsychiatric uh, problems, uh, including uh, psychosis, suicidal ideation, uh, worsening of depression and anxiety. Uh, this was based on a lot of case reports that came out and were reported to the FDA after Chantix was released. So initially, everyone was a little bit spooked when there were all these case reports coming in about uh, problems with Chantix. Uh, but since then, there's actually been multiple higher quality studies uh, which show that when you take Chantix and compare it to using other medications to stop smoking, uh, like using patches, for example, you know, nicotine replacement therapy, which is the patch, uh, there isn't a huge difference in major neuropsychiatric events, such as suicides. Now, that is not to say and it doesn't exclude uh, minor or moderate uh, effects, and particularly if you have a history of mood disorders when you take Chantix, such as depression, anxiety, you know, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia. My own personal experience with prescribing Chantix in my office, uh, I've had people who've tried multiple other uh, ways of stopping smoking and have not had success until they are able to use Chantix. I have seen people with mood disorders uh, who uh, feel that they get worse when they're on Chantix. I've also had people who complain of sleep disorders like sleepwalking or, or insomnia. These are legitimate concerns and when people have them I definitely you know, I take them off of Chantix. The other concern uh, which was I had to admit, a little bit disturbing to me when the study first came out uh, was that people who take Chantix are at increased risk of having heart attacks. Well, that's still good. I mean, that's why we're giving people Chantix, so they can stop smoking so they won't have heart attacks. So that was really a bummer uh, to find that out. Uh, but when you go back and look at the study, it was actually just a small study. It was in people who already have known heart disease. So people who've like, had a heart attack before, there was a small uptick in the number of people who uh, had additional events when they were put on Chantix to help them stop smoking. But the feeling overall is that uh, this finding probably does not apply to people uh, without heart disease, 
uh, and it uh, probably is a small increased risk that is far outweighed by the decreased risk that comes along with stopping smoking. So just to kind of briefly summarize and wrap up, uh, I think Chantix is a useful and safe medication if you need it to help you stop smoking. Uh, that being said, it's not a perfect medication. There are some concerns, uh, but those concerns need to be kept in perspective and compared, uh, for example, to the risks of continuing to smoke. Uh, there's probably a lot more danger in continuing to smoke cigarettes than there is to take Chantix. Caution is advisable, especially if you have a history of mood disorders, because even though I just pointed out that the studies don't show uh, significant severe events like suicides, I suspect there actually is significant risk for mild or moderate worsening of mood disorders. So I'd recommend having close follow-up with your doctor if you do uh, start Chantix and have a history of mood disorders. Similarly, if you have a history of heart disease, uh, if you get chest pain while taking Chantix, you need to take that very seriously and go get checked out in the emergency room. Chantix is certainly not a magic bullet when it comes to stopping smoking. And you need to have realistic expectations. And though it does double your chances of quitting, uh, that still leaves a considerable uh, number of people who use Chantix and are not able to quit smoking at least the first time. Uh, so don't be discouraged by that. Uh, do continue uh, to try to stop smoking once you've gathered yourself and are ready to give it another go. So it has occurred to me while I'm thinking about these uh, videos, there's like a whole list of reasons why no one will ever see them or watch them. So I have to say probably the number one reason is that uh, a lot of folks who would probably benefit from this information are probably um, you know the type of folks who do not know what a YouTube is or what a YouTube looks like or where you get one or how you buy one. So. So I hope this video was informative for you and uh, maybe mildly entertaining, though I seriously doubt that. This is, after all, my attempt to make a string of the world's most boring YouTube videos. Until next time, take care.